As usual, let's begin by reading the question. Using a single phase equivalent to simplify your computation, find the voltage, RMS value, and phase VBN. Here is B, this voltage here, with respect to this point here, the single phase um, value VBN. Compute as well the total three phase apparent power, active power, and reactive power delivered by the trio of sources, by the three phase source. This was an exercise on single phase equivalent. It was not about solving the circuit using brute force with MA or with loop analysis. No, that was not the purpose of that, as the question explicitly says. It's about using a single phase equivalent to simplify a three-phase solution, which is which is what three-phase analysis in 253 is all about. Let's see. Single phase on the left hand side we have between the neutral here and phase A lowercase is only that source. Let, let me draw that one. The source and here we have uh, that uh, ground point this is 240 with zero degrees which is just 240 and then in series with that in one phase we have 4J3 absolutely so let's go for that 4 ohms and J3 ohms 4J3 and now there is a delta of uh, capacity of reactors here J36 ohms is the impedance in each one of them. In a Y, it would be one third of that. One third of J36 negative is a negative J12. So that is what goes between A and ground at this point. It is just one third of that is negative J12 ohms. And on this side, the rest of the circuit is connected in a Y already. So we have a resistor of 10 ohms in series with an inductive reactor of J15 ohms. And that is a circuit we need to solve. This is um, a uppercase A, at this point up here. Well, um, I will compute the current in the source here for phase A. And for that, I will use the total impedance seen by the source in that phase there. So allow me to write the current in phase A is just 240 divided by the impedance. And that impedance is the series of 4, 3 to the parallel of this term, which is this branch is 0, negative 12 in parallel with 10, 15. We use a calculator and compute whatever that is. Um, um, and then watch. Is it well? And then what I'll do is compute the voltage VA. And from VA, I will compute VB just with a subtraction of 120 degrees. How do I compute VA? All VA is just 240 minus the drop in this impedance for 3. Sure. VA is 240 minus a drop in this impedance produced by the current IA that I just computed. Fine. And then VB is just uh, that current VA mm, divided by this uh, number, right? We know that. And that is one value. And the value uh, that uh, I've got for that one is 230.8. Let me copy that here. 230.8 volts with a phase of negative 133 degrees with four tenths of a degrees. Those are volts and that is the first value we needed to find and then next. And then we needed to compute the total power delivered by the three phase sources. Well, if that is, in this case, just three times the power in one of uh, those uh, single-phase branches. So I compute the power here in this source, multiply that times three. So let me do that um, like this. The total three-phase power of the source um, is uh, 
three times. 240 with zero degrees multiplied by the complex conjugate of this current IA. I compute that and get that the value of that power is a uh, 8 kVA approximately, right? It is 8.019 kVAs with uh, um, a power factor angle of negative 36.99 degrees. That is the the apparent power, this one. So let me write apparent power. Total three phase apparent power in the source. And if I write the same number in rectangular form, and that is only one key press away, we get the real part is the active power 6.4050, 6.4050. Zero 06 kilowatts, that is the active three phase total power minus J 4825. A25 kilowatts, and that is the reactive power, the total three phase reactive power supplied by the trio of sources. This is P, this is Q, and this apparent power is just S. And that was the solution to this exercise. Thank you very much.